Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy, and today we're doing another uh, quick start guide. This time we are in the uh, Crash Landing Hardcore Mod uh, Map Pack. It is on the um, FTB launcher. I do not know if it's actually on the actual launcher or you have to put in the uh, pack code or not. But I am going to post the link to the um, form thread and the place down below. You can check it out down there. And there should be a place in there for you to uh, download it if it's not in the pack. Um, this one is a flat world. And it's to me, it's not as hard as say uh, uh, like Blood and Bones, but uh, it is quite fun, and, and it's a little bit more difficult than, than regular Minecraft. Well, it's it's a lot more difficult than regular Minecraft. Um, so what I'm gonna do is there are two versions of the map. And we are going to go in here. Let's see here. I got two copies here. So we're going to go into each one. There's he's made an easy one and a hard one. Now the guy who made this pack is Islander. I know I'm not pronouncing that right. Uh, Islander, and uh, he made the map and the mod pack, and uh, he's still working on it, so it's not finished. Um, I'll probably do a let's play on this when he finishes the mod pack, and actually it's not in like alpha or beta anymore. And then I'll probably do a let's play on it then. But I wanted to go ahead and do a quick start guide and show off the the map and the pack and, and stuff inside of it, and give y'all some some little quick pointers for when you're starting the game and you, you can uh, get a get a good start and get to where you need to be. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into each one of these packs here. Hopefully I haven't got anything started in them. Let's. See. Let's check and make sure. Okay, good. Okay. This is where you start and you start in this uh this is a flat world. Now over here you do have don't get too close because it'll burn out two spaces. Yeah, see right there. Okay, but uh, that is burning promethium. That is not lava, and it's a whole lot more hot, or a whole lot hotter than regular. And uh, this here is dust. Now this is the kind of dust from the Ex Nilo mod, the same one that was in Aquarian Skies. And uh, as you can see, I, I did recipes. I, was, I need the recipe for a, a, a post on the, one of the forms. So, and you can dig this up with your hand. Um, there are three pieces, four pieces, three pieces. Is that cool? Um, um, is that? Can't tell. Let me break this. Cause I'm gonna restart the map. Yeah, there's four pieces of clay, and that should be enough to make two. Um, Crucibles? Not crucibles, the other one. I will show you. But like you turn that and you put that bone meal and then you make the little crucible looking thing and then you smelt it in a smelter and then you place it on the ground and you make lava out of it. Just like in Aquarian Skies. Um, this is all metal. And it does protect you somewhat from, from the blast and everything. So which basically you run a shuttle or a spacecraft in the sky and you crash landed on this planet and it's a planet that's dust desolate 
and it's I have I've gone all the way down to bedrock there's dust all the way down so we're on 64 which means about level 5 is where bedrock is and, and it's dust all the way down oh and um, the torch method I have not got to work on the dust so you actually have to dig it out you can't torch and then have it all fall down like these are fluid transposers. Now, in, in this one, there's no energy. So, I'm showing you all the details in both packs. So, both maps. There's a gaping hole here. This room is the same in both packs. Now, what's in here is not. This is a strong box. And the first thing I'm going to get out is. I'm going to go ahead and do the first quest in this one, which is taking these two out. Okay. So. Hello, and welcome to... I'm... Welcome, I am the IMPA, or to be more precise, the Intelligence Multipurpose Assistant. I am here to aid you and guide you in surviving on the pl hot, dusty planet to good news that it, I'm sorry the good news is that you seem to have crashed survived the crash fine the bad news is the shuttle is mostly definitely did not you are stuck here for the foreseeable future speaking of which you might want to get started setting up camp and gathering supplies or what supplies are left and see about finding water it is hot and dry. Okay, so this is starting. You click on it. Same as the Grain Skies and uh, Blood and Bones. So, and he's got one quest thing here. Now, this is a hardcore map, as you can see with the things. If you die, you are dead. And the map deletes. And then you have to start over from the beginning. And that's true for both maps. So, so be careful. Okay. And we want to go ahead and do this one this now you can read this if you want I'm not gonna read every quest on here but I need to do this because I need to show you this thing so the first quest you want to do is this one gathering supplies and it'll have you get the transposers and it'll give you some of this stuff down here okay now this is called the camel pack and what you do is you put it in your inventory here and you put not cold water because cold water won't go in here I'll show you see Nothing. But you can actually put this regular water in here and it'll fill up this camel pack. Okay, and you do that in your inventory here. And we'll move this cold water up here. Um, I'm going to wait on that one. So we'll just put, and you put this on your chest lock. Now you have to wear this most of the t all the time. So you can't wear anything in your chest slot at the beginning. And as you can see, when I put that on, down here on the left hand corner here left hand corner right here is your temperature gauge which tells you how hot you are and your um, how thirsty you are right here and if you get too hot you can get heat stroke and if you run out of thirst you will die if you run out of thirst then you'll, your hunger will go all the way down and when your hunger goes all the way down you'll, you'll die so so be mindful of that. So that's what thirst does for you. Thirst, if you get all the way thirsty, then it starts taking your hunger down. When you get when you run out of hunger, you die. So that's that's the points there. Now, to keep cool, the camel pack keeps you cool and also keeps you hydrated. So you stay hydrated. As you can see, your thirst is coming up. And it also reduces your temperature down. Now, if we go outside, our temperature will go back up. maybe yeah see how it's going back up also if you stand near hot liquids or if you catch on fire you will also see how see our temperature went up also if, if you stand in cold liquids it will also reduce your temperature down so be mindful of that um I'm going to switch it back today because we're not we're not keeping this world so we're just I'm just showing you some stuff in it. 
So, um, that's the camelback, and you got to make sure it's hydrated. Now, this piece of water here, you want to keep. Do not get rid of this water. Save this water. This water is going to be paramount for your survival. Do not get rid of it. Okay? Leave it there. You're going to need that for your cobblestone generator. Um, now, you... You can, he has nerfed, so you won't, he has nerfed this dust, so you won't get as much of dust as you did in Aquarian Skies. And he's changed some of the other stuff, so you want to come on here and uh, try things out. Um, you, you might as well just leave this out here and just let it burn it. Now, creepers will come over here and get in on this and when they get in this and they catch fire they will blow up okay so if you're worried about that you might want to get as much stone as you can early and, and try to half slab it off so it doesn't burn burn and explode keepers and he did have uh, mob griefing off, but I believe he's turned it back on. Last time I had a creeper explode, it took out half this dust over here. Okay, so when you start out, you start out in here, or like right here, and you want to come in here and get your chest, and we're going to go ahead and put these two things back up here for now. Now, the original version of this map, these were o Oculus accumulators, but um, people were kind of cheaty with the Oculus accumulators and, and made it to where there was like infinite water and, and the whole point of this is to survive in the desert type environment where there's very little water. So he went for the transposers and there's recipes where you can uh, actually we go to water itself. See, uh, any kind of saplings in here, and apparently grass, I don't know about that, ferns, but anyway, you put the saplings in here basically and it, it'll give you 125 each, so 8 saplings will equal 1 bucket of water, excuse me, you can also melt stuff in the smeltery and get water. <coughs> Excuse me. So, you can also take your water bottles and put them in here. Also, if you need to fill up your pack and all you have is the cold water here, you can put these in a furnace and heat them back up to regular water and then fill your pack up. But the cold water won't work. Now, this one starts with a needle gun. Now, this needle gun is really cool. Um, I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, well, if you've ever played the sieve, you know how the sieve works, but I'll go ahead and show you how it works too. Now you start out with one of those, um, and it gives you two packs of uh, ammo. There's 12 in each one, so you get 24 bullets. This is a crafting station here. So, for now, we'll go ahead and put this out. Put that there. For now, put this here. We're going to move that too. This is just a regular crafting station from Ticker's Construct. What you do is you put a regular crafting station in your inventory and it goes to that one. This is a sieve and you, just like in the Grand Skies, you just put this in here and then hold down the right click. You right click to put it in here and then hold down the right click and it gives you uh, different ores. Now he has set this up. Let's see if I can get one. He has modified this one to actually drop eggs, fish, and stones, which I didn't get this time. Let's grab a little bit more dust and I'll show you. There we go. See if we can get some something that wasn't in Aquarian Skies out of this.
Come on. There we go. See, there's a stone. And, and you'll see more stuff when when we do when we do the actual playthroughs, so I can show you how to do a good start. So that's what those two things are. And the needle gun. When you first equip it, there won't be anything in it. You right click, and it'll ask you to um, put this in it. Now, now after you use 12 rounds, it'll shoot out the uh, thing. So let me, and you just you shoot it like that, and you you don't get the arrows back like you do with the bow. So be mindful of that. And it automatically reloads itself. So see as it has shot that out, and then you can refill that. You can also make these. If you scroll over and press R, it's plastic and iron, and plastic comes from raw plastic. And you make raw plastic with rubber bars. And you can make that with glue or rubber. I don't know how to make. or slime balls. I don't know if there's any slime chucks on this map though. I haven't seen any. I don't know about rubber trees either. Okay, so. Anyway. I'm getting distracted here. So that's your gun, and you can use this at the beginning. Also, you want to. Uh, Try to take out as many uh, skeletons as you can at the beginning to get more arrows for this. Now, you to fill this up, you'll need six arrows, two gunpowder, and then that little thing. And then you put them. Let's um, go to uses. There are also different types of ammo you can use. So. Say it's a needle gun, anvil ammo. So, but this is the one right here, and it's six arrows, the needle gun magazine, and then two gunpowder on the side, and that gives you the thing, and that's how you do it. So you want to kind of take out some skeletons, but you don't want to do that in the first night. Okay, he goes gives you first five, uh, four um, beef jerky. He gives you a shovel, and I. Th I think he changed this to the Tinker's Construct Shovel. Yeah, okay, so it's faster. He did have a regular shovel in there, and that shovel in the mods that he was using were um, nerfed, so they didn't actually shovel any faster than your regular hand so there's really no point in using it so he has upgraded this shovel in here so this is the one you get in this mod pack or in this map like I said there are two different maps and this is the hard version and he starts you with two saplings now on the hard version you get a jungle tree and a birch um... I don't know why he gives you the jungle tree. Um, people's asked that, and I don't know. Um, to me, spruce would have been better in here because jungle trees in 1.6.4 are one of the best trees to get wood out of. Period. And then you can also do vines and leaves if you get the, if you do the four sap in a two by two area. He gives you a sprinkler, which you can put on top of an aqueous accumulator or any source of water, and it'll squirt water out and it'll help grow things. You can also put bone meal in inside of it, and the bone meal will it'll use the bone meal up, not as fast as you use it, but it'll use it up and try to make the crops grow faster. He gives you a couple extra copies of the quest book. Now, these are in here, but. Like if you run out of these and this, you can spawn one in, I believe. So, quest. No. Yeah, see there it is. You can spawn that in. 
Now, these have no use in this game, so you don't get them. So, if you get extra lives, which enables the non-hardcore mode, um, you've cheated. Because you can't get these in this version of the pack yet. And he hasn't upgraded it to where you can. And he has no, he has no plans as far as I know to do that. But you can go on the forums and ask that. And he'll be able to answer you. you just the starting books you usually start with. Um, this is your quest delivery system like in Agrarian Skies. And then the, he, he starts you out now with these two leadstone <coughs> things which you want to put in here basically. And it'll start charging these up for you. You might want to just use one at a time just in case you need something else for that. <coughs> and let's make it day again. So that's your basic start there that's that's uh that's everything he gives you in the hard version of the map now i'm gonna save and quit and then we'll go look at the easy version here we go now as you can see you got two fluid the two uh fluid transposers like before only one's full of energy and here's the quest book again. So we we'll click on this and open. And it requires two fluid transposers. Okay, so we're going to take these out. Now the problem I have... Okay, I haven't done it yet. Okay, sweet. So manually submit, claim... The problem I have with this one is he tries to help you out in this one by giving you one that's already full. But once you take them off, this one empties anyway. So if you are, if Esclander is watching, um, these two here, you can leave empty. <laughs> If you want to have it charged up, you want, you're probably going to want to leave one of the leadstones in here to charge it up for you. Because they're going to have to take these out to do the first quest. Or make one. So, I don't know what the point of that one is. Um, here, he gives you a leadstone energy cell. Which you can use the... You can use these to charge it up, if I'm not mistaken. And there is a little bit of charge in here. And again, these are reusable. And that <coughs> is for this thing here. So you, you put it... You take this out. Now this is the easy map, so you don't get this on the hard map. Ooh. And see? Now when I touch that, it, it, it uh, took a little bit of damage off of me. But now that's linked up with me, and it's going to form a clone in there. And then this is all outputs. There's no inputs. So. So you just want to leave that in there. And you want to kind of let that go like that. So, it should start progressing in there and make a clone for you. I, I haven't used these too much, so if you use these, you know how to use them. If not, I don't know. I haven't used these too much. But this gives you an extra person, which basically gives you an extra life. And you can build more of these when you get up high in tiers and get a bunch of uh, ores and stuff. But for right now, this is the best you can do. And it gives you an extra life, so that's why that's why they call this the easy map. And he gives you an extra energy cell, an extra leadstone cell. He starts you out with, uh, let's put this on before we die of thirst. There we go. There we go. He starts you out with the same needle gun, two ammo things both these your crescent hammer now in this one you get an oak now oak is 
whole lot better. And it'll make this whole lot easier because oak will give you apples. Sometimes. So, and apples will help you get juice and food and stuff. So, now, if you do play on the easy map, I think we'll be playing on the hardcore map. The hard version. Because I don't know how this works and I don't really want to mess with it. Matter of fact, I think I've already broke it. <laughs> um, but uh, don't eat your apples if you absolutely don't have to. Um, kind of build yourself like a little place for mobs to get trapped in and just kill the the zombies and eat their flesh. That's the best way. Now, as you see, this this is the same over here, and you get your burning Prometheus over here. He gives you a flux tool. Now, if I remember correctly, if I do this, it should charge this tool up. Right? Yes, see how it's charging up there? So, and this will give you a flux infused shovel. That's 200 RF per use, but as you can see, 160,000 divided by 200 is is a lot. So, now, as a side note, if you drain this thing out here this leadstone energy cell can be used to make your um, make a tool in Tinker's Construct that actually uses RF just like the fused flux infused shovel does okay and it has 400,000 use RF on it so you can actually take this leadstone energy cell and put it on the Tinker's Construct tools unless he's edited that out which we can't see from here so um, if he's watching this video you can post down in the comments or on the thread um, if you've edited that out let me know and I'll, I'll, I'll post a comment in the thread to ask but uh, the leadstone energy cell can actually be used on Tinker Construct tools to upgrade them to RF uses. So now now this one's empty so we can go ahead and right click this off and I guess we'll stick it back in there. Now these are leadstone infused so you can recharge these. And we're, we're deleting this one so I'm going to go ahead and There we go. Let that charge up some more. And as you can see, when you do use this one, I forgot. there's a way to activate it. To control. Let's look. <coughs> it says you can also use that as a hoe. D to empower. Okay, so. Hold it in our hand, press B. There we go. B. <coughs> it doesn't seem to work. <coughs> so, this doesn't work that well on dust. So, I don't know what's wrong with this. Sorry. I don't use the flux infused stuff too often, though. So, <clears throat> it starts out that. If you use the flux infused stuff, it, you might like that. Let's, let's turn that off.
that in there. And you start out with the regular birch thing too. Everything else is the same as in the other map except you get twice as much food and you get this nifty little machine here. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to have a switch or something. Not seeming to charge. So to me this one feels more like I don't know. This one feels more like a space crash landing thing. And this is like your machine that you came out of. Um, go ahead and make it. Oh, this is perfect to show you this. Um, when you come into here, this stuff will be disabled. But you can uh, go into actual world and then go to inventory. And you can turn the stuff back on. Like that. And then switch it to utility mode. Now, once you do that, you have to go into world each time to um, switch it to different modes. So, and then we'll make it day. There we go. There we go. Now you gotta watch this thing because it'll shoot rapid fire, so. Ooh, I'm about dead. Let's eat a little bit. There we go. You're the well fed buff. Now, this is the well fed butt's in here, so you'll get regeneration from well fed even if you don't have food on. And I have heat stroke because I'm so hot. So it might be a good idea to stand in this water a little bit. So that's the generalized what you start with. Now this makes it a whole lot easier and it gives you like an extra life to start it over with. Take that out and put some more water into it. There we go. We'll go inside and see if we can get cooled off better in here. Now, if you look at Rotten Flesh, this is the recipe you're going to try for. Is this one right here? You need to do salt in that, and then it gives you uh, a zombie jerky. And there are quests in here for for you. You unlock all these through right here. And I'll be going through all this very in in the regular playthroughs. So, so if you if you like if you like this one, you play this one. If you like the other one, you can play in the other one. Um. I haven't found any more hidden features anywhere. I've dug all this out. There's nothing up here that I know of. But I don't want to tell you all the hidden features here. I want you to find the stuff for yourself. So there's a little light source there. We can use our little gun to snipe these guys here. Now these creepers in hardcore, they will own your face if they explode up next to you. So so be careful. Now, in Gordon Skies, I told y'all that you just turn on magnet mode and keep it on so stuff doesn't fall off. You don't have to worry about stuff falling off here, and it's kind of a little cheaty to use magnet mode on this map. So I would suggest not doing that on this map because what you can basically do is... Um, have everything spawn at night and then make it and then in the morning just come out here after everything's died and then walk around your base and everything will pull everything into you and it's kind of it's kind of cheesy so don't don't do that don't don't play with magnet mode on 
in, in, in when you're playing through this because it makes it a whole lot more easier to gather resources when, than, than it should be. So this is the first episode and it's going through the stuff in the two different maps and what the maps is about. And um, the only other thing I want to show you is save. This is a regular playthrough world. You can spawn in your own world now. Let me just ignore that. If it glitches, it glitches. As you can see, I'm in my own map here. So you can spawn random worlds and play with the same mod pack. Um, you might have to spawn you in a camel pack. I don't know if it starts you out with a camel pack or not. And for the first quest in this book here, open. you will have to spawn you in two fluid transposers in cheat in cheat mode, and then complete this quest. And then what I did is I just deleted them, and that starts the book off going. And as far as I can tell, it just keeps going. Now this is a great opportunity for me to show me. Now when you sleep in this mod pack. We didn't show up here, but he has on the on the maps he has sleep hunger on. So when you sleep in the mod pack, it will actually um, it actually give you hunger. So you you want to leave, you don't want to sleep at night. You want to you want to go through the whole night. So you want to do something at night. Like uh, the best thing to do is go ahead and sieve stuff. This is lava thing. Now, now this is different than Aquarian Skies. I don't know if they added this into Aquarian Skies in the update, but the X needle now it shows you how many, how much lava is actually in there, and it shows you how much cobblestones in there too. So, and I don't know how much this can hold. I'm assuming five or six buckets full. Now these you can no longer make, if I'm not mistaken. You can make them this one because I already had this one. See, there's no recipe for them. I had these here from before, so you can't make the wooden ones anymore. You have to make um, these stone ones. I did that again. And it takes compressed cobblestone. So you you want to get your cobblestone generator up and running as soon as possible. Now the other option is thermal igneous extruder. <laughs> now it is glass, two ten, a servo, and a piston. So this one might be a little bit easier for you to get. You'll still have to get one bucket of water and one bucket of lava. But this one will allow you to do it without doing anything yourself. So. And it looks like he's changed this recipe a little bit so you'd have to have seared brick. So it makes it a little bit harder. What about this one? Yeah. He's changed this one too, so you have to have seared brick. Now, you can get seared brick. You could get, this is only four, so. Dadgummit. Yeah, you'd only need four clay. And you could get that from the, the stones that you get out of the dirt. You could you could break those into gravel and get that real quick. So that's not a big issue. So you need two, four, this one's the same. So you need four here. So 
you need four, five, five, six, seven, eight. So you need eight pieces of stone for this. But it's always good to have a lava generator, cobblestone generator. And that's the simple fact that um, you, you're not going to be able to level up your picks any any way other than the cobblestone generator. So it's always good to have one of those even if you don't use it. So that's, that's basically everything. Um, this is, oh, um, he did say that the quest books would not work after four or five days but I have been in here for a while and it's worked as long as I started that first quest so I don't know and he said something about it, something else that wouldn't work on your own map and that is on the forums you can go in there and read it, read it for yourself but this is the this is just showing you off the mod pack and, and going over some stuff. Now the first thing we want to do let's let's go back to the the other map. The one we're actually gonna play on, which is the hard version. Our first objective here is going to be getting well uh, I'll show you, I'll show you, but but your first objective you want to to be is a furnace. And I'll go over what you need to do first to do that. But this is Magsy. And if you like this episode, make sure you smack that like button. Uh, if you subscribe, it'll send you notifications when I have new videos out. And you can come check them out see what, see if you like them. If you do like these and you want to share them with your friends, make sure you hit the share tab down below. You can copy that link down there and post it in your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. Tell everybody how you like it. And uh, I will see you in the next episode.